day two of leaving home in my six month adventure. Um, and before I head to Asia, I came back to Portland where I lived for a couple years. And there's a lot of emotions going on. Um, it's really hard to leave family. And no matter how much I love to travel, it never gets easier to leave the ones I love. Um, so I'm missing them and it's day one. But also coming back to a place that I felt so connected and so right, like I fit here. Um, the people of Portland, the culture, the beauty of, you know, this is everywhere you look. The greenery, the rapids, oh, it's just a gorgeous place to live. And so just landing this, from my flight, it was so good to be back here. Um, and it's crazy that I'm just visiting. Um, but it was a good stop. So before I leave for Asia, I'm just so happy to have some time to just pause and reflect in the last few months um, on the time to come. And whew, I, I'm so excited to just be open-minded and spontaneous and to accept that I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how I'm going to adjust, how I'm going to get by without speaking the local language, where I'm going to stay, what my trip's going to look like, who I'm going to meet. Uh, there's so many things that I don't know and I just love that when you're open to that, you know, when you're not fighting those rapids that are washing over you and trying to control it, you can just enjoy the journey and see what comes up and the opportunities that present themselves. And you really can just embrace everything and let yourself go. And I'm just so excited and thankful um, for those that have encouraged me and supported me and I'm just in a place of gratitude this morning and excitement and nervousness um, and I'm so thankful that I get to share my moments like this um, with all of you so thank you for watching